now I'm going to do the end float on this crank um, I've got the case just bolted together um, I've got no shims in here at the moment because if you remember when I stripped it down there wasn't any in there which um, I think there should have been anyway um, yeah and I've got the dial gauge set on the end of the drive side here um, and the crank is currently right over this side just put a screwdriver in there and put that right over that side the generator side uh, yeah this is the bones method Oz Bantams give him a, a look uh, this is a method he used um, there are several ways of doing this um, but this is probably the simplest uh, right so now what I have to do is just push the crank over that way and uh, watch the gauge or the dial rather not the gauge <laughs> right so we have 20 thou of end float at the moment um, according to the workshop manual there should be a 10 thou shim this side which I've, I've got in a pack of shims there um, and we should have between 4 and 6 thou of end float so what we say we got so if I've got I think I've got a 5 if I put a 10 and a 5 in that should put us somewhere in the middle um, yeah so 10 tail this side 5 tail this side um, this is a BD engine I think some of the later ones you only shim on one side but on these earlier ones you do put a 10 thou shim this side first so what I'll do I'll get that in get these shims in and then uh, we'll give it another measure okay so 10 in that side 5 in that side uh, I've currently got this pushed over that way gauge is zeroed just under 5,000 which is right in the middle of the spec so that will do very nicely I think could have got a bit tighter I've got two 3,000 ones there uh, which would have brought that down to 4 thou but I'd rather just put a single shim in rather than two uh, so yeah we're bang in the middle of spec anyway so I think that will do very nicely so now that's done um, I can reassemble I uh, just need to split, split everything again and put the gearbox in or the lay shaft main shaft um, I've just got to finish off that um, finish off this just got to ream that out uh, and drill the additional holes in that uh, yeah and I can start reassembling yeah end float complete <laughs>